Hi folks, this is Gabriel from Dnodes. Today we will explain how Stacks improves the programmability of Bitcoin making it A safer, B making it smarter, opening the door for a new world of safer DeFi possibilities. In an effort to make a stronger decentralized community and with thanks to Paradigma Kolschek, Stacks and Freehold, here we go. So why day five with Bitcoin? Okay, by now you should know, but if you missed it, Bitcoin is the most secure blockchain in the world and is for now a place to store value and consider in fact the new gold standard. As its price increases, market cap at 350 billion and trust being higher and higher, we must consider how to use this incredible accumulated value. Up to there, great, but how do you do that? Its biggest assets become also its limitation. Bitcoin is not really programmable. This is not what you want if you are trying to have additional functional features. Any developer would struggle. Additionally, it is a very slow wait for transactions. Compare this to a credit card, Bitcoin is extremely slow. Not very handy as a payment method with high fees. So how to overcome this type of problem? So here's where Clarity and POX developed by Stacks became very handy. Let's look at this. Imagine linking both together. And this is exactly what they are doing at Stacks. We're able to keep it safe, use its value, and increase its programmability. Additionally, by creating a language that does not permit creation of malware, we new safety features incorporated, resulting in a natural safe environment for programming. If you want to know more about POX, have a look at my video on data validation and proof of work and mine providing an overview of how POX came about. But let's look now behind the effort that has been done creating clarity, as it is important to understand differences with other blockchain platforms. So let's look at clarity programming language. It is predictable. Clarity uses precise and unambiguous syntax that allows developers to predict exactly how their contract will be executed. It is secure. Clarity allows users to supply their own conditions for transactions that ensure that a contract may never unexpectedly transfer a token owned by a user. And Clarity does not have a compiler. Contracts written in Clarity are broadcasted on the blockchain exactly as they are written by developers. This ensures that the code developers wrote, analyzed, and tested is exactly what gets executed and nothing else. Basically, what you see is what you get, making it very transparent. And then on top, we have the principle that Stacks has implemented. That is the can't be evil principle. But what does this mean? Let's look at this in practice. The following programming rules are developed to help make Clarity safer and implement this principle. So Clarity offers protection against re-entrancy. This uses weaknesses at the superteam level. It basically fools the system while it is focusing on the main task. Magicians do this all the time. In a famous re-entrancy case, as estimated 3.5 million Ether were lost. Access control. This is a bit like leaving the door open while visiting your safe. Somebody can come in. Estimated loss at 150,000 ether. Overflow and underflow or arithmetic issues in short. It means that a number has not been accounted for leading to a wrong interpretation. Think of the millennial date in computer between 1999 to 2000. If a program was used, the last two digits as in 99 and 00, the program creates an error as 00 can mean 1900 or 2000. Uncheck return values. This is like a bank just forgot you to retain your money when refund was needed. Not a good idea. So what more? Denial of service. Many ways lead to denial of service, including artificially increasing the gas in Ethereum to a level not accepted by the system. 
taking smart contract offline and making it possible malicious intent to be caused. Loss estimated at 500,000 Ether by now. Bad randomness. Basically, it means that it's possible to guess an answer because the randomness is too simple. That is why this is also known as nothing is secret strategy. Estimated loss more than 400 Ether. Time manipulation. It's exactly what you're thinking. Basically, you fool the timestamp that is generated by a block. Short address attack. A short address attack is when a contract receives less data than it was expecting and fills the missing bytes with zeros, provoking zeros issues. In summary, you will be able to create a safer, smarter contract transparent by design with flexibility made possible through clarity and then chained together to Bitcoin, freeing restrained value, enabling liquidity and using the safest blockchain in the world, Bitcoin, to make transactions. Not a bad idea. We have learned a lot from Ethereum and its software hacks and ongoing issues. When Stacks 2.0 is completed in December of this year, it will be possible to create a much safer and transparent platform. As a user, or a developer, or a miner, you can join this tax community and check for yourself how it works. There is an opportunity waiting for you if you are a programmer. And as a user, you will be better guarded against attacks and will also be able to participate in the earnings through three holes. Three last things come to my mind. Value has been created and trust has been implemented in Bitcoin. Unlock now is liquidity, programming with clarity. Thank you until next time from Dinos promoting a more decentralized world.